Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I have an unboxing video and I am super excited because I'm going to show you the new Big Shot machine that just came out by Sizzix. It's called Big Shot Fold Away and uh, it comes in this uh, packaging. I'm going to open up this one with you. I haven't opened it this yet. So we will see uh, what's included and what you can cut out with that. How small it is or how big. So let me find the opening here. And bear with me since this is the first time I'm going to open it. I haven't tried it yet myself, but um, it's always super exciting when Sizzix comes out with new machines since I know that it's going to be great and best quality as everything they make. So now in the box you get uh, this package, which is I think has dyes and um, uh, other material that you can cut out, but we will take a look on that later. So let me grab the actual machine out of the box. I'm going to put away all that packaging and let's see what we are left with. Now, as you can see, there are some platforms there and we will take a closer look on those later on. But first, let's take a quick look on the machine, which I think it's super cute and uh, it looks quite small. Now, as you can see, there is a handle there that folds and it's totally out of the way. So if you want to store the machine on yourself, it uh, doesn't stick out. Now I'm going to turn it around so you can see how it looks. So I'm going to use my scissors to cut out this tag that I don't need anymore. And there are some useful information on this tag, I'm sure, but um, I never read the tags or the manuals. Uh, I know that's not correct, but uh, I never do that. Anyway, now I'm going to try to open up the handle. And again, bear with me since this is the first time I'm using it. And this is what I found. There is a tiny little button that you can press. And when you press it, you can unfold that uh, handle which locks in this position and if you want to fold it again you need to press the little button again so that you can fold the handle and it stays neatly inside so it doesn't stick out and you can easily store it. Now I'm going to turn it around hopefully you have a good view and I'm going to open up the flaps and as I open them up I press them hard towards the center and that locks them down. I'm going to take out the right flap and I want you to see how stable that is so although it looks quite flimsy once you press it hard and you hear that clicking sound then you are good to go and I'm going to show you a super cool feature on this machine those flaps actually are little pockets so I'm going to lift them up so you can see that there is storage area down there and I'm going to try and see what I can put uh, in there later on now here are the little arrows that show you that you need to press those uh, flaps towards the center and I'm going to do it once again for you so that you can hear the sound and that's the way you open up or you close the flaps and you put them back to place. Once you do it once or twice, you will get used to it and uh, it's going to be super easy to lock those flaps in place. Now let's turn it around so we can see what's underneath. The machine feels very sturdy and underneath you can see those rubber feet so it doesn't move when uh, you place it on top of your table. Now let's see the platforms and uh, what you get with uh, the box. So of course you get the standard platform as you can see here. This is not a magnetic platform. This is just the big shot standard platform. You also get uh, this thin uh, dies adapter and of course you get your two cutting pads. And then of course you need to read the instructions if you don't know how to use a big shot machine to create the sandwich based on what you want to cut or what you want to emboss. And you just run the sandwich through that opening there. Now what I am going to do for you is to bring in my normal, my old big shot machine and I'm going to place one next to the other so we can see the differences or the similarities. So let me put this aside. So here is my good old Big Shot 
and I hope you can already see that these are actually both big shot machines but just in a different design. They have the exact same opening so in both of these machines you can emboss or die cut 6 inches wide. And just to prove this for you I am going to switch the platform so you can see that I can run one through the other machine. Now the handle feels very comfortable and the pressure is exactly the same on both machines. So you actually get the same machine but in a different design. Now of course if you have a big shot already you don't need the second uh, a fold away machine obviously. But if you are in the market for a new die cutting machine then I would suggest to take a look on the Sizzix fold away. Because uh, especially if you don't have enough space on your craft room uh, or on your table it's a great machine because you can always close it and fold it away. Also it's great if you like to take it with you on crops. I'm going to close it up for you now so we can place one next to the other and see the difference in size. And I'm doing everything slowly here so first pull out the flaps to unlock them then close the flaps up and uh, now all that's left to do is to turn the handle on the other position, so again I have to press that little button and the handle is nicely put away. And you can easily see how much space both of these machines take. I can easily fold away my new C6 machine and put it on my bookshelf along with my books, which is something like that I cannot do with the other big shot. So now it's time to retire my good old uh, big shot and I will start using my new machine so that I can put it to the test and you will be able to see in my future videos how it works. So now I'm going to open it up for you one more time. You can see the flimsiness on the flowers but once I press them inside you hear that clicking sound and it's good to go. And now let's take a look on what else you get with your box. I am unwrapping this and we can see all the different dyes, the materials and uh, what else it's included. Now if you are new to die cutting then this is a great bundle for you because it gives you many different materials to play with and see what you can do with your embossing and die cutting machine. Now first of course you see the manual where you will get all the instructions on how to set up uh, your machine, how to lock the flaps, to open up and close the handle and everything else which is something I never read the manual so I'm going to leave it aside for you to read. And let's take a quick look on what other is inside. So first of all you get this die set which are the thin type of dies, the thin lids as we call them. And you get all those little flowers, dies and different accessories to create a pillow box. And before I go ahead with the rest of the materials let me make some room here so that I have enough space to show you all that's included. Now there is a little paper pad and that's uh, five and a half by six and I'm going to open it up for you so you can see the designs. Everything coordinates beautifully. So these are double sided papers in beautiful colors like uh, grays and blues and pinks and of course you can use the thin lid dies included in the kit with this uh, paper pad. Now there is a package with uh, some fabric here. And I'm going to open it up for you so that you can see and of course they include different materials so that you can see the different uses of the machine. And you get the same design but in different colors. And you can actually use this fabric with the big dye that is included and I'm going to show it to you later on. Now there is another package included in the kit and that includes felt. Again you get four different pieces of felt. And that's the good quality of felt, that's not the acrylic uh, felt, that's uh, the wool felt. It's uh, quite thick and nice to the touch, very um, luxurious and um, fluffy. And uh, you also get uh, four different colors in the same color combo as the rest of uh, the kit. And finally you get your Big Mama, the Bigs die. And if you haven't uh, used uh, this type of die again, I'm sure you will love it. This uh, cuts out not only 
paper like I am going to do for you here but it also cuts out uh, chipboard, it cuts out leather, fabric, felt, uh, even um, thin metal. You can actually cut out uh, anything with that you can cut out with your scissors. Now I'm going to run it through my big shot and for that you need a very simple uh, sandwich so you put, place down your uh, cutting plate. I'm going to place the die on top of the paper and again one more cutting plate. And again, you need to remember that this is a big shot machine. So although it is foldable, it's uh, exactly the same mechanism. The, the opening is exactly the same as the big, the good old uh, big shot. You can use any bigs that you might have already and any thinlets. So you get the four basic designs with this die. You get uh, the little butterfly, the vine, a flower and a little heart and these are basic shapes because you can use them in pretty much uh, any paper crafting uh, project that uh, you have in mind. Now the machine is already available in Europe and you will find links down below on where you can uh, get it and I'm going to link you to the official website where you can learn even more for this machine. And finally, let's take a quick look on uh, the compartments that uh, you can store different things. I like to put inside some washi tapes so that I can have them handy when I want to secure my dies on top of my platforms. I can also store a bone folder. I can store a pick tool. And you can also even add a pair of scissors there. It's quite big and it fits uh, many things inside. And of course you can store inside the little manual as well as many ties that you might use all the time, probably basic shapes, etc. So that was the Big Shot Fold Away. I hope you had fun taking a look on the new C6 machine. You will see it in use in my future videos. Hope you have a great day and thank you all for watching.